Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Hello, everybody. This is John, and today we are playing Nancy Drew and the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. I know that this game is not everyone's cup of tea, but if you enjoy watching these types, then welcome. This is our case file. Head to Icicle Creek, small guest lodge deep in the Canadian Rockies of Alberta, Canada. Try to figure out why so many accidents have been happening there. Woman who runs the lodge, Chantel Malik, called me out of blue saying that Bet and Ed Raleigh from Shadow Ranch had recommended me. She sounded so desperate that I couldn't refuse. She said she was on her way to Edmonton to meet with her lawyers, so her handyman, Ollie Randall, will pick me up at the airport. She told me it's been a really cold and snowy out there, and that I should pack accordingly. And then she said something about a wolf. The connection was really bad, just like that in the Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. But I'm pretty sure she used the word prowling, or was it howling? Along with dangerous and be careful. Accidents are one thing, but wild animals, I hope I know what I'm getting into. That's a cute puppy. Scrapbooks, along with the last past uh, mysteries, how to be a detective. Yeah, I know all that stuff. Okay, so. I think there, there used to be, or... Oh, yeah! There are things to interact with on the desk. But anyway... We are going to... Be playing on Junior since it's been so many years since I've played this game. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddie. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. But no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. You hear that? Well, now, what was that? Well, there's your answer. Was anyone in the bunkhouse when it exploded? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. Oh, that's where Elsa and Becky had been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. 
You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. If you think I'm going to admit to him that I can't handle running just one, guess again. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Don't you, Nancy? Well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. You want to be my maid? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah! That's an excellent idea! All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook, too! Your cook? Well, that way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone! Why, well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Now, we're not taking any more guests until this accident thing is cleared up. So I want both of you to make sure that the four guests we have are well taken care of. Especially that Olympic-caliber cross-country skier from Fredonia, Yanni Volstaya. The flair he brings to the lodge is just what I need to attract the European jet-setting crowd. I'm gonna be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Ollie. Oh, and Nancy, I want you to call this police detective I've hired as a consultant. I put his number on the phone there at the lodge. In fact, I think you know him. Tino Balducci? I gotta go. My lawyer's here. Good luck, you guys, and keep me posted. Coming! Tino Balducci? I'll get you a master key and leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. Speed on maintenance. Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. It's her. <laughs> Report all avalanches to the avalanche patrol. This must be the key Ollie said he'd leave for me. And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Okay, just a clock. Uh, oh. Not a piece of here. Well, I don't have any reason to go in there right now. No. Laundry. Uh, Elsa. Uh, so we have someone from Frozen here. Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. Uh, yeah. Code. Well, hello there. You must be the new maid Ollie told us about. I'm Bill Kessler. This guy's Lou Talbot. Hey. What's your name again? Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I'd come over and say hello. Well, Lou here's a grad student. Art major, of all things. You're probably gonna need a jackhammer and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? Have you two been at the lodge for a while? About a week, I guess. I checked in right after he did. We sat down after breakfast one morning and discovered that this fox and geese game is pretty darn fun. I've been whipping his tail ever since. Is this the first time you've been to the lodge? Yep, sure is. I came for the ice fishing. Of course, knowing there's a renegade wolf running around is kind of dampened my enthusiasm. What about all the accidents that have been happening around here? Bad luck, that's all. No, the only thing that bothers me about this place is the wolf. They should get rid of it, and the sooner the better. They didn't put up with wolves prowling around this place 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with them now. What are you, Little Red Riding Hood? That wolf's not hurting anybody. People should just leave it alone. You'll be that. singing a different tune when it has some little kid for breakfast, then has you for lunch. Not gonna happen, dude. 
Trust me, if something bad can happen, chances are it eventually will, dude. Hey, I know what you can do. Shovel the snow off the skating pond so we can do some speed skating. Lou here thinks he's faster than me. You're like ancient. Of course I'm faster than you. You may have youth on your side, my friend, but I've been working construction since before you were born, which means I am more fit now than you will ever be. Get that pond shoveled so we can settle this, okay, kiddo? Consider it done. You're supposed to be shoveling snow off the pond. Yeah, aren't you snarky? Ooh, pyramid. Yeah, let's just do this puzzle. Seems a bit easy. There we go. That's a little more complex. Yeah, what the moves. Ooh, that's a bit more complex too. Except um, not really, I guess. No? How about Wolfie? Wow, this really is a junior puzzle. Let's try the raccoon. See if it activates anything. No? Hmm. Let's try the pig out then. It might be a later puzzle, but I want to use all my options right now. Wait. Something Strange, happened. Strange, it's empty. Yay. Well, yeah, it's empty, but does that mean that... That I can do something else now? But... Well, this is the only one I'm gonna try now. Oh, okay. You're done shoveling snow? Well, no. Two words. Snow <laughs> shovel. No. Guess I better get this pawn shoveled off. Okay. Okay, so darker it is. Uh, better? Or is it the darker the worse it is? Okay, it's Do I have 13 homes? Because that means there's 13 spots. Does that mean that I put one here, 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 here? 
Looks like Sudoku. Or no, no, that one game. Well, the so there we go. Okay. Hmm? So we're right here, we're right here. do it wait a second those look like wolf tracks maybe I should find out where they go weird looks like some kind of monument what's this doing here strange it's halfway in and halfway out this thing must open up somehow. That means it must close up really quickly after you open it. Wolf prints. Here, wolf out. Ooh, chicken ridge. Oh, because there's a chicken there. That's cool. Oh, no. Sounded like an explosion. That's ah, wolf again. Oh, noise. <gasps> oh no. Move <laughs> away. <sighs> I'm buried in snow. I've got to dig myself out before I run out of air. You wouldn't have that much. I'll never make it. I can barely breathe. You wouldn't have that much in its space. Help! I'm down here! Right under you! Can you hear me? Help! I can't breathe! You heard me. Thank goodness. Sounds like you're scratching on cardboard. <gasps> Easy. It's okay. I'm not real happy about the situation either. Hey, puppy. It's gone, but thanks to that hole it dug, I can breathe again. Now, if I can just pull myself out. <sighs> Alright, so that was an exciting ex <laughs> avalanche that just happened. And this is the end of the video. I'm glad that you watched. And I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. So, goodbye.